In this video, I'm going to show how to install SC Kernel on a Mac. This Mac OS installation guide assumes that Super Collider has already been installed on your machine. To begin, we need to install Jupyter Notebook through Anaconda. Go to www.anaconda.com. Click on Products and then Individual Edition. Click Download and download the latest version. Go to your Downloads folder and start the installation process. Navigate through the installation process. Open up the terminal and type the following. Hit enter after each command. Pip install SC kernel. Python minus M SC kernel dot install. SC kernel works by launching Python. So in order to sync SC kernel with the version of Python installed by Anaconda, we need to get the path of Anaconda's version of Python. The easiest way to do this is in the terminal. Type the following, Python import sys, so import sys, print sys.executable. To exit, hit control D. Don't close the terminal because we'll need that path that was reported from print sys.executable. We also need to get the path of where Super Collider is located and installed on your machine. Generally, this is installed in the Applications folder if you go through the normal installation process of Super Collider. So, how do we get that? The easiest way to do this is by typing open and then forward slash. This will launch an instance of the Finder. Click on Applications and find Super Collider in the Applications folder. Right click and hit Show Package Contents. Click on Contents and then Mac OS. And at this point, we're just going to leave this as is. So leave this window open for now. We'll come back to it in just a second. Back in the terminal, let's type the following. Python minus M SC kernel dot config dash P. Now we need to go ahead and copy that path name for Python and put it in quotation marks. So let's copy and paste that down below. Then type dash s. Now go back to the finder window. Right click on sclang and hit the option key. That will bring up an option to select copy sclang as path name. Once you do that, paste that into the terminal in quotation marks. Now the final step is just to test to make sure everything works. So open up Anaconda Navigator. Click on launch for Jupyter Notebook. Click on New and then SC Kernel to create a new Super Collider Notebook. At this point, a post window should pop open. And to test to make sure it works, enter in a small snippet of code and watch the post window show the output. If you see output, then you know that everything has been installed successfully. As an FYI, while you're working in the notebook, do not close the post window or the terminal window that is launched by Anaconda. You won't be able to get it back, and potentially it could disrupt the flow of the notebook. Simply minimize if you find those windows unnecessary.